Hello, my name is Fred, and we are here today to talk about what is the single biggest problem that America is facing today. I am sure that this is one where all the students will have a different viewpoint on the topic. In my opinion, it is not the wealth or lack thereof. It is not terrorism. It is not overcrowded prisons, nor is it drugs. I wanted to take a moment to look around the store, look around our school, look around the movies where or wherever else you may act, interact with people. Now I want you to stop and take a look in the mirror. Yes, the biggest problem with America today lies within us. All of us. It's entitlement. It has spread like any other disease, and we all got it. In doing research, I found very little regarding this topic, but the facts are in. We are all entitled. Some of us work hard for what we have, why others don't, and yet we all feel that we deserve more. We feel as though we deserve a new car, that we deserve a new flat screen TV, that everything should basically be handed to us on a silver platter. And if it is not, then we look at it as being because of our race, our religion, or our sex. Life is just unfair. I remember growing up and if I wanted something I had to go earn it. Yes, I understand this is a difficult concept to understand. Earning it. If I wanted to go to the arcade or if I wanted candy or if I wanted a new exciting toy, I had to walk around our neighborhood and ask people if I could shovel their walks, mow their lawns, pull weeds, or any other chores that around the yard that I could do to help me earn that money. While today the arcade is a dinosaur, so is earning with the majority of today's youth. Merely the need, needing to ask for whatever they feel they want. I emphasize want because they have lost the ability to decipher the difference between want and need. For that matter, most of us have. I ask you this today. When was the last time you had a kid or a teenager knock on your door and ask you to mow your lawn. It's okay, I'll wait. For me, it was in back in 1992. And even then, I was shocked when I accepted and the kid walked across the street, grabbed his dad's riding lawnmower, and proceeded to mow my lawn. Not saying this wasn't a smart way to do it. But what happened to working hard and feeling though, as though you accomplished something when you were done. What happened to instilling good working ethics in our youth? As Americans, a majority of us feel that we are better than that. And that a particular job is beneath us. When the discussion of working at McDonald's came up in a group of men, a majority of them replied, No, that's a job for teenagers. Now, I find this particularly amusing because looking around most fast food restaurants today, I don't see many young people working at these establishments. And when asked, most will act like it's beneath them or that they are better than that. What have we done in life to make us better than that? Now, I truly understand as an adult, looking at a wage and realizing a certain job won't cover our expenses. I truly do. But why won't it? Because we felt entitled to have as many new things as we could, and so what if we couldn't afford them? That's why we have credit. I remember posting an ad recently for an assistant. I work in the construction field, flooring to be exact. I remember finding it amusing that most people responding would have absolutely no experience and expect a starting pay of over $15 an hour. Now I'm not saying this is an exorbitant amount of money. But where does this number come from? It comes from entitlement. Meaning although I haven't showed you I'm worth it, I still expect it. In an article written by Caleb Jacobo, I believe he said it best when he wrote, Individualism today offers no validation of self-worth, or recognition of achievement. Instead, it offers selfishness 
and a fear of change. I would like us all as Americans to ask ourselves what would happen if we keep progressing in this manner? What would happen if we completely accept entitlement? Who will do what? Who will work for what? We are already seeing this conforming in our country today. In bigger cities where we see a growing number of immigrants from other countries filling jobs at fast rates, it is believed to be because these jobs are ones that no one wants. The jobs that Americans feel that they are better than. Yet again I ask why? What have we personally done to achieve this greatness? The mirror needs to be thrust upon us and we need to see ourselves for what we truly become before our great nation collapses from our own selfishness. Before we as Americans are looked upon through the history books as just another faded memory.